In this video, we're going to use stack crunch and the normal distribution to compute some easy probabilities. So we're going to focus on problem number one. So it says find each of the probabilities and sketch the corresponding area under the curve. Assume that x is normal with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 10. So all we have to do is go over here to where it says stat and we left click on that. And then we go down to where it says calculators. And then we look for the normal distribution. So there it is right here. So again, you go to stat, calculators, and then you go down to where it says normal. Then you left click on that. And for part A, it's asking for the probability that X is between 90 and 110. So between, so there's this nifty button that says between, and all you do is click it. And then you can enter your numbers here. Let's go ahead and enter the mean. So the mean is 100. So we have that, so 100. And the standard deviation was 10. So 10 is the standard deviation, so 10. And for part A, all we do is we enter the 90 over here in the left box, so 90. And we enter the 110 over here in the right box, so 110. Then we click Compute. And not only does it give us the answer, 0.68, it gives us the sketch for us. So the problem says to sketch, uh, but there it is. There is the sketch. Beautiful stuff. For part B, it wants the probability that X is less than 94. So now you want to go back and click standard. So I'm going to go up here and click standard. And then all you do is plug in the 94. If you're wondering, hey, wait a minute, you picked less than or equal to, it says less than here. It doesn't matter with the normal distribution. They're exactly the same when it comes to the normal distribution. So you plug in the 94 and you click compute and boom, there it is, 0.27. And for part C, all you do is change this to greater than and enter 100. And so there is the answer, 0.5. Let's do all three really quick one more time. So part A, it, it wants X between 90 and 110. So you click between, and then you enter the 90, you enter the 110, and then click compute, and there it is, 0.68. Part B says less than 94, so you just go back to standard, change it to less than, and then enter the 94, and click compute, and there's the answer. And then part C says greater than 100, so you just change this to greater than, and you enter 100, and then you click Compute, and there is the answer. So went through that kind of fast, but uh, hopefully it makes sense. 